Hey, my name's Kay, and I'm just going to take you through opening up and preparing your trolley to do a CBC or a Bascaf insertion, so central line insertion. So to start off, you want to get one of these CBC packs. So these come like this. They come with their own gown, which you can use. Otherwise, we've also got separate surgical gowns in the storeroom, but you're just going to set this to the sides for now. And likewise, you're going to dispose of this. So first things first, you want to open up your sterile CVC pack. Being careful to just touch the edges of what will then become your sterile field. Perfect. And this will contain your sterile drape in it. And then you want to start collecting in this sterile field the equipment that you're going to need for your CVC. So first things first, we will start off with our line. So there are generally two types of central line that you'll be inserting. One for dialysis, it's called a VASCAF, and the others are just your simple uh, central line which come in different lengths depending on where you're going with the CVC. So either jugular mainly or femoral are the two sites that we'll use. We're going to go over just opening a, a central line pack for now. Again, best thing for this is always to try and open it with it facing the ceiling as neatly as you can. Fold it over, being careful not to touch the edges. Then I normally aim for the box initially to just tip these um, over into. Alternatively, if you've got someone at the bedside with you, like a nurse, you can, you can get scrubbed beforehand, get them to open it whilst you're sterile and take the equipment out. So just like that, things neatly fall into there. Again, we'll just place this at the bottom of our trolley. And then we need to start going about collecting all the other things we'll need for a CBC insertion. So first things first, not to forget, you're gonna to need to have a sterile ultrasound probe cover. So we'll go about opening this up next. Again, Similar technique, you just let it rest on the trolley, get rid of this. Next thing that I go to is I know that I'm gonna to need to flush my line. So first, open up this device, which is called a spike. You'll see later what we use it for, but it just makes drawing up fluid to flush your, your lines easier. So again, just gonna open that to the side. And lastly for that, the spike is gonna go into this 100 mil bag or small bag of saline. And this can always be a, tr the tri a tricky one to, to open sterilely. Like I said, again, if you've got an assistant with you, you can always get them to open it for you and take it out at the end. So we're almost there now. So last things last. Uh, firstly, we need to clean the neck. So we're going to open up some Chlorpep lollipop sticks, as such. I normally like to have three, just to make sure that the area is nice and clean. And then last things coming up are two things. So one you'll be familiar with, and that's a suture needle. I'm opening up a straight suture needle here. Use whatever you're more comfortable with. We also have curved suture needles with suture packs as well. So this will be to secure the line later. And then lastly, which is something you may not be as familiar with, is something called a bio patch, which looks like this. It's a circular thing that's impregnated with a chlorhexidine. It's just meant to reduce the risk of line associated infections. Just a tip. And then before you're set to go, you have a look and just check that there's nothing you're missing. Inevitably, when you start doing this, there's some things that you'll forget. That's completely fine. Someone will always be around to get any extra equipment for you afterwards.